Welcome, welcome, welcome. Back to another episode of uh, Unwind. <laughs> okay, My Dak Shepard. All right. All right, Dak Shepard. <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Arm Cherries. My Arm name Cherry. is Dax Leopard. Welcome back to Armchair Idiots. <laughs> Monica Might Mouse, whatever they always make nicknames. Well, if you guys have no idea what we're talking about, we're talking about armchair experts, armchair expert with uh, Dax Shepard. Great, great podcast. Y'all should check it out. But we're here for Unwind, that's why we're here. Welcome, Unwind. welcome, 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 welcome with uh, Jun Lee, joined by Gucci Glenny, Glenny Kwan, Glizzy Kwan. Whoa, um, Glenn already opened his uh thing. What are you drinking today? Let's just jump right into the drinks. Drinking a mango <clears throat> truly. Oh. <gasps> oh. Mango. I'm doing a mango white claw. That's fucked dude, up. That was, dude. That's fucked up. Oh my god. You're, but you're team truly. I'm Always team with the poor claw. choices, dude. Always with the poor choices. Oh. Yes, you. I feel like yes. I, I feel like more you know, first off, before we even get I felt like that was a loaded quest that was a loaded statement. I think I think you were talking more than just the word. Oh, there. is that what it was? And I'm a little offended. Oh, are you now? I think you were taking a little too deep. Oh, there. am I? Am I? Yeah, am I think I? this was more than just a white claw. First mm, off, interesting. you didn't even you opened it. I heard you open it. Mm-hmm. You you didn't even cheers me. Oh yeah, yeah. And cheers. you just took it. Cheers. Dude, you're, at this point, you're an asshole. Die. Certified. 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 I love it. Yeah, cheers. White Claw Mango, Truly Mango. Now I want to try a taste test, like a side-by-side taste test of the mangoes. Yeah, we can definitely do that once you uh, move here. So There's a lot uh, of things we can do once you move here. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. The fans are waiting, actually. They're, they're, they're anticipating your move. Don't. There's nothing in store for y'all. Okay, so realistically, <laughs> what's your what's your timeline here? What's my A timeline? Year? Okay, so I finally got. Um, so I so I actually need to go to Korea, um, before the year ends, and I think we're gonna go around right. September fifteenth. So. Oh. Um. Hopefully, I can make a move. Sometime in November. You're lying. I don't. I didn't even. I didn't even anticipate 2021. <laughs> I was thinking minimum. No, but really, I know, dude. You're, really? Don't don't say yeah, that. Yeah, you know. You're what? saying you're gonna move. You're gonna go to Korea in September. Come back and out of nowhere, just move to LA. <laughs> no way. I'm just gonna move to Wyoming. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't even want to go to LA. <laughs> honestly, honestly. I've been saying this shit for like a, for like over a year now. But you know what? To offer some sympathy, it's it's a big move. It is, and and my wanna, and my original plan was September, but um, some things happened, and I gotta go to Korea. So, mm, right, yeah, right, right, right. yeah, yeah. You wanna hear an advice my brother gave me? Sure. You know my you you've met him, right? I have great guy, a, better yeah. than you, honestly. Honestly, honestly, yeah, better than me. <laughs> <laughs> he has great advice too. And so I was asking him, I was like, oh, well, like I was talking to him before I moved to LA when I was in Georgia, and this pertained more to me driving alone when i told him i was trying to drive mm-hmm. cross country mm-hmm. by myself from georgia to la my mom was freaking out she's like i'm gonna sneak into the back of your trunk like if you, if you don't take a plane like she was worried right and all mm-hmm. that my brother the, the only thing he ever said to me was don't be a pussy that's the only thing he said <laughs> what said, great well, advice he just just do it that's like, honestly why, like that advice that's applies literally to all he said yeah, and so that's my advice to you, like for you moving here. You know what I mean? Yeah, just don't be a pussy. God, I've been such yeah, a pussy just, this past just, year, dude. Fuck. Just hey, just do it, man. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, it, it is a big move. I get it. It is. So, um, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about a lot of things. Um, things that I've been, I don't really talk about too much on social media. I don't think I've talked about this in like five years, honestly. <laughs> well, that shows where we're at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this. First question, um, are you are, are, are you happy? Or how happy do you think you are? Am I happy right now? One to ten. Yeah, no, like... Yes. Well, yeah. before you answer that, <laughs> let's rate it. Rate my happiness right now? How happy are you? <sighs> Dude, I think on a scale of one to 10. if I'm being completely honest, I think I'm like around like a five right now. Mm. Yeah, 
I'm actually very dissatisfied with my life right now. Mm. Yeah. Why do you ask? Why do you ask that? I don't know. I've been asking myself that. Are you? Or what? What? You. What do? You, what would you rate it? Myself. Um. <laughs> you want me to rate you? <laughs> no, I don't know. Rate yourself. Rate yourself. <laughs> um. Damn. Five or less. Five or less. Yeah. No. Like no. Five highest. Five max. Five think, max at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. Four. I would say like four to five range, honestly. Yeah, three is like kind of dangerous. I don't think I'm there. Yeah, three is like yeah. Three is a little dangerous. I won't. I won't. I won't, I I won't make that joke that I have in mind. But three is yeah. Three is um. Do it. No, do no, it, no, do no. it. Do it. Three is. <laughs> well, three. That, no, 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 no. This is our humor. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, this no. Is a, Just tell me afterwards. This tell is this is even dark, <laughs> even for me. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um. Three is yeah. Three. Three is a little low. But I yeah. I, I would. I would have to agree with you. Like four or five for me. So, so, Glenn has a pretty dark humor. So do I, right? We both do. But Glenn can take it there sometimes. June <clears throat> actually has it makes- much darker humor than I would have imagined. Like, it's mm-hmm. some of the shit, you guys are- some of the shit mm-hmm. that he says, I'm like, wow. I don't even, I, I feel very uncomfortable. And I don't really feel uncomfortable with it's, jokes. It's but a, those, it, some jokes you it, hit me with, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Take it great, back. It's such a great feeling. It's such a great feeling when Glenn feels uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, like, dude, I don't. I, I want. Like, I don't. I don't want to joke. I don't want to joke anymore. Let's like, let's like okay, talk okay, about okay, something okay. you know for, happy. Okay, like. for the record, for okay, uh, for the record, most of those jokes where he's like s- super uncomfortable, it's like about myself. Yes, it's, you know yes, what I mean. Yes, it's, yes. it's not necessarily like dark humor about someone else or like. Yes, being just it's like very self-deprecating. Not being like a bigot. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's more of like a self-deprecating thing. I'll make like a really dark joke mm-hmm. regarding something I'm going through mm-hmm. or something. So, yeah, recently I've been I've been I've been joking around with Glenn, <laughs> just with like certain things, and Glenn just feels super. I just I just shut down, and I usually and I usually don't he, shut he down. Crumbles. I usually like you know play yeah. along with the joke, but yeah, some of the shit that he said, I'm like, wow, that is actually crazy. Like, I I to to watch a man just crumble in front of you, <laughs> just. I've seen Gren, Glenn Gren. Gren, Gren, I've, Gren. I I've seen Glenn crumble from from some of my stuff, my my jokes. But yeah, I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm just curious. Damn. Just like truly though, truly, no pun intended. Mm. But you know, you know what? I, I would argue like most people average average like a six point five. Okay. Wow, that's a I very that's a very average, specific number, six point five. How did you how did you come both, to that calculation? I'm very curious. Just because seven seven is the equivalent of three on a on a positive scale, right? Okay. Seven is the three on the positive scale. So <clears throat> seven's a like if if someone said you know what? Six point five to a seven, I think majority of people would say six point five to a I seven. I would argue it's even less than that. Oh to be honest maybe, with you. Maybe I was too I optimistic. Think most people in this world, especially in America, are very unhappy. <clears throat> you know? Mm. But I just feel like we're just so good at putting up the front, you know? Mm-hmm. 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 Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> cheers to cheers to five and below, man. That's the thing. I think I think so many people don't know how to deal with it, or don't know what to do with it, or don't know how to act when they feel a certain way. You know what I mean? Yeah, me. Or, included. or they don't realize that we're imperfect beings and living in an imperfect world with imperfect conditions in a decaying body, and we think that the second we 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 chase after and preach after perfectionism right Mm -hmm. in order Mm -hmm. but the second things are out of sync or we feel yeah not perfect Mm -hmm. it's like something's wrong Mm -hmm. but that's not true that's where it's normal it's true for me you know what i'm saying it's true for you it's true for me so i don't know i don't know where i'm going with all this but man it's been like it's been so weird dude i've been realizing i think i realized i might be in a little bit of a slump 
because all I want to do is sleep, mm-hmm. and I have like no, I have no energy. I, I've been sleeping in a lot. I haven't been doing that lately, but just yeah, recently I've been sleeping in a lot, and then I'll go to like a coffee shop or something to do some work. I can't do any work. I just like sit there. I like do emails mm-hmm. and like brainstorm this or that and just pretend like I'm doing something. But it's just more so just to get out of the house and just check off something. Check it off my list and say, oh, I did something today. I feel somewhat accomplished. Yeah. Right. That's it. And I go back home and I'm like, oh, I, I want to take a nap or something or just like eat dinner. Like it's just like the highlights of my day are planning out. I need I, I should eat. I should drink some water here and there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I kind of want to take a nap. And, oh, shoot, I need to sleep. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, and then every morning I'm like, oh, I should work out. But I haven't been. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, man. it's Pretty sure those <laughs> are the first signs of depression, dude. Ooh-wee. Just being honest with you. <laughs> no, I've, I've uh, definitely self-diagnosed myself many times. Mm-hmm. yeah like that whole I mean, like yeah, maybe like that wild. whole like sleeping a lot low energy you can't focus on the things that you once loved shit yeah. like that it's the first mm-hmm. signs of depression mm-hmm. welcome to my well, welcome to the world bro welcome 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 to oh, the I, world I am familiar dude. i am familiar but the thing is like i've always never used that word i've always been careful to use that word for myself because i felt like i i was you know it wasn't fair for the people going through like you know heavy heavy deep depression but i also realized depression comes in so many forms Mm -hmm. and mild depression is still depression Mm -hmm. right sure sure there's a thing people like mistaking being sad with being depressed right it's 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 a it's a fine line it's a fine line and no one can really help to find that between besides like either you know yourself or, or even better like a professional right to kind of help help diagnose that but um yeah, I don't know. Work it's it's been getting in the way of work, just motivation and stuff. Yep. I'm going to New York. That's oh, are you? Yeah, I'm going to New York next week. Oh, kind of. I still have to f- uh, figure out my flight situation. So let me let me ask you. So I got invited to do a wedding. Uh huh. To MC a wedding in in New York. In in New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. Right. And so it's next Friday. It's on the twentieth. Um, so I'm probably gonna fly in on a Friday, on that Friday, right? Just go straight there, mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. I want to stay two weekends. Mm-hmm. What do you? But then, like, what am two I two weekends? Enti- yeah, just because, like, you know, weekends is yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, right. So, like, ideally two weekends because I'm going in on a weekend, uh-huh. right? I'm going in on a Friday, and I, I, I would like to stay another weekend, which is all the way next weekend. But what am I gonna do Monday through Friday? What am I gonna do that entire week? So I'm like, am I overstaying? Am I going to get bored and like hit a weird low by just, you know what I mean? Or should yeah. I just cut it short? What do you, what would you, that's why I haven't told the guy yet. And like, in terms of like the dates I want, um, what do you think? I mean, me personally, whenever I'm like visiting somewhere, I kind of get sick of it after like three, four days, but that's just me personally. Right. Um, right. I mean, the last time I went to New York, I was working, so I was like ready to go home. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it could be a good time, you know. I f- yeah, I mean, I feel like I could find stuff to do. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I could find people to collab with or network or like try to do work related things on top of, you know, pleasure. Pleasure. Work and Ooh. leisure. Whoa. Not, Whoa. Not like that. Anymore. Pleasure. Not like that. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Now I know why you're anyone, really going to New York. Okay. Got anyone it, got in your, it. Hey, any, any cuties in New York? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got Just it, got kidding. It, got it. Got it. Got it. It all makes um, sense, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't even know if, like, the per Like, I have, like, a few friends there. I could probably, like, you know, hop around. Yeah. Stay at, the, stay at some friend's place. But, like... One person I could definitely stay at, but I can't. I don't want to stay for that long. I, I would feel bad. Yeah, I don't, don't do that. Don't don't be that guy that like stays. That's a long time. You know, while they're That's working and like during the work day and like like overstays. Well, I would try to like be out the house majority. Right. But anyways, I don't know. I have to figure that out soon because I feel bad. Tickets prices probably just going up and up. But anyways, yeah, I got invited to a wedding, so I'm excited. I've been wanting to visit New York, mm-hmm. and 
Um, it's in New Jersey, and then I'll probably just stay in New York and then just, I don't know, hang out. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. New York's expensive. I don't have money like that to just splurge. <laughs> like, you also have to keep in mind, if I'm going to be there for that long, that's like, I have to budget. Like, that's, I'm not going to cook, you know? Right. I have to, like, eat out at least once a day. Like, at least one to two times a day. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> Back on track. Back on track. Anyways. So, um, we're going to, we're going to get, um, a little... Religical, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just talk about our upbringing. And <clears throat> like a lot of uh, Korean Americans, well, I'm not going to speak for everyone, but a lot of Korean Americans in the Southeast, where, you know, me and Glenn grew up um, in Georgia. I know I know, Glenn grew up in other parts of the country as well, but, you know, primarily in Georgia, a lot of them grew up in the church, right? Being in the Bible Belt, very, <clears throat> very religious, um, and so, yeah, I guess, <laughs> well, are we just going to share our testimony? I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what this is, isn't it? Oh, is it man, not? my fucking testimony. Wow. That's crazy. So if you guys don't know what a testimony is, can you look up testimony? Can you look up, I don't have my key. Just like your journey with God, basically. Basically. It's, yeah. your, it's your life story. It's, like your, it's your, story like your story of how you, yeah. how you found God. How you found God, how God and how, found you, and how he saved you. Yes, 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 yes. It's, it's, Yeah. And so, just kind of take us through your you want me to go first? Your journey. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it short, but mm-hmm. um, I started going to church in Chicago when I, or well, the, well, the suburbs, the, the suburbs, the suburbs of Chicago. Are you nervous? Um, <laughs> I'm actually not. I, about know Jesus I haven't. <laughs> I feel like God's listening right now. He's like, you fucking piece of oh, shit. Oh, God's taking a seat for sure. God for is sure. listening heavily right now. Anyways, um, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. while I was growing up in uh, the suburbs, suburbs of Chicago, um, my family started going to church. Um, and, you know, when when you're like young, you know, it's more for like you like, like you go for your friends and, you know, like stuff like that and then i moved to atlanta in middle school i still went to church and um yeah i found like this this church called kcpc i I think it's probably one of the biggest like korean churches in the metropolitan atlanta area um so i started going there and you know i met a bunch of really cool and nice people and um but i think i really started taking church and like you know my faith seriously sometime in college um and you know that's when i started to become like you know like like a church leader i know that sounds really very weird from coming out of my mouth but i used to be like a church leader um you know like i like led like small groups and shit uh there were a couple you know there were a couple times i actually led praise isn't that crazy you i know nobody got blessed that night nobody (laughs) no Nobody, nobody got blessed that night. That that night was wild. Is singing or guitar or both? Both. I was doing singing and guitar. Wow. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. That's like crazy. I know. Like four or five Christian songs that I can play on the Yay. guitar. Yay! <laughs> yeah. No. There's there's one. Um. Set oh. Okay. okay. What's your favorite? Down oh, set of fire. That's an eight. That's that was my joint. Song. That was my joint. Um. But yeah, that's when I started taking things seriously okay, and. Okay. Um, yeah, I was like really, really into it, and there was one point in my life, um, sometime in college, I yeah. convinced myself and the people around me convinced me that I needed to go into the pastoral role, right? So like go okay. to like go to seminary. And oh, I was like, God. Okay. wow, okay. that's fucking crazy. Think about it now. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know if I did a good job of explaining. I, I don't know. I don't even know if that's a testimony. I feel like there's more of a history. But um, yeah, yeah, and then now um, it's been like, oh, it's been like maybe like six, seven years since I've been back to church. Um, I think mm-hmm. I think after college, I moved to LA for a little bit, and mm-hmm. um, I went to church like here and there, but I just I don't know. Like towards the end of my college career, I just started like falling out of it. Um, I started like kind of realizing a lot of things about myself and like. Um, things about the church especially um, that really like kind of turned me off to it so 
I stopped going in LA, mm-hmm. and then once I moved back here, I haven't been back since. You know what I'm saying? So, um, All right. yeah, that's kind of. I guess that's kind of my testimony. Damn, that's I feel sure. like back in the day, I had a really fire testimony. You know? You probably did. Yeah, that's probably did. I I, I like again, I like juice that probably, shit up. It was probably curated. You know? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We gonna get into that too. We gonna get into that too. Cheers. I'm I'm being more active of the of the cheerings. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Yes. Cheers. Cheersing. Cheersings. Ooh, I have a I have a heavy hand today. I've been. What does that mean? You have a heavy hand. Well, you know when like you pour with a heavy hand, it just means. Oh, like, okay, okay. I but when I'm, yeah. I don't know, I'm just applying it to drinking. Yeah, so I'm okay. drinking no, with I a heavy it. hand. I get it. I'm just like I downing it. it. Yep, yep. I get it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Drinking Anyways, with the. Yep, um, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Corvale. Go ahead, Corv. That's my go favorite. Ahead. That's go my favorite key and peel. That's my favorite key and peel. You know, oh I was on my Instagram God. live the other week and I and then we were having a watch party. It was I was so happy. I was like, these are the things that I enjoy doing. And I was like, <laughs> you guys know Key and Peel. Let me put you on. They're like, oh, we only know the substitute teacher. I'm like, no, 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 no. What? That's all there's they a, know. There's a oh whole yeah. The, a lot of people don't know Key and Peel. I'm very disappointed in your followers right now. I'm not gonna uh, lie. <laughs> very disappointed. No, well, no, no. A lot of them knew. A lot of them. I'm just, but I'm just speaking general public. Like a lot of people don't really know Key and Peel like that. That's very disappointing, actually. You honestly. know, there's a whole group of people. You know, there are people that don't really watch sketches. I just, I just assumed everyone did. I you think, know what I mean? honestly, I think Key and Peele is the only sketch comedy thing that I really watch. Mm, if I'm, that's being, fair. if I'm thinking about it, actually, right no, now. that's fair. That's fair. That, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like comedy, because like, because like SNL comedy. is kind of like it's. I don't know. I don't. I don't find any of it funny. Really, S- like SNL stuff. I don't know. Something about it is just like Key and Peele. Though Key and Peele is fucking hilarious, though. Holy They're shit! They're very good. They're very good. Yeah. They're Anyways, very, very your testimony. Good. Go ahead, bro. Anyways, oh, so I met Key and Peele. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> bad joke. Bad joke. Bad joke. Bad joke. <laughs> uh, I, I was I was born into the church through my mom. My mom was the only believer in my household. My brother's not. My dad's not. My my mom met. God, when she was like thirty in her thirties, she hated Jesus the whole the whole nine yard, and then you know she got saved and whatnot. Um, and then so yeah, I was kind of born into the church in Guam. I went to like a Christian private Christian school, be- only because Guam's so tiny and the public education is so bad. Like you kind mm-hmm. of have to go to you kind of have to go to like private school to mm-hmm. get even a basic education, right? Yeah. And so, so I went to that, but I don't really remember too much of it at all. But I, I just know from what I've heard, it's just like extremely conservative, especially back in the day. But um, yeah, so and then moving to Georgia, I grew up in the church and I realized we can get into this too. But I think a reason why so many Asian Americans went to church and parents went to church, like especially immigrant parents, because that's where they find other Asian Americans. Mm-hmm. Church was like such a good place to uh, network and mingle and find other people like you in a world of, you know, like people that don't look like you, that don't speak your language. So yeah. it's very intimidating. So I think that's why, especially in the South, a lot of kids just, you know, following their parents uh, grew up in the church. <clears throat> and so, yeah, um, I actually, cr- so I, 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 I was very, I was very involved in the church, you know, everything I Especially at a young age, I loved all the skits, all the the Christmas skits. Mm-hmm. Anything where like the kids perform in front of the parents, you know, and stuff like that, and all the retreats that I, I loved that. I, I do credit the church a lot for curating and fostering a lot of my performative talents in the same way that black churches foster a lot of like with choir. A lot mm-hmm. of singers and, mm-hmm. and performers there too. I I think that a lot of Asian American churches don't get enough credit for kind of curating the performative arts of that side. But at the same time, Asian American parents don't necessarily push their kids enough in the way that a lot of Black parents do. Like, oh, my son, my daughter can sing. Mm-hmm. Let's let's 
you know let's keep curating that i think that there's still like a big taboo with um performing arts in the asian american community right there's no money there there's no longevity there it's whatever anyways back to the story <laughs> so i grew up, I grew up <laughs> that's a whole nother topic that i want to talk about but yeah did that um yeah fun fact i <laughs> i was i was a praise team leader actually at one point very involved I, I led praise too for a couple years i was like the president of the youth group whatever the hell that means right? <laughs> i was like the pre- <laughs> like the president did you did you get voted um, in i think so i think mm-hmm. i did I think interesting that's what it was. Yeah, yeah 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 um yeah 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 and then but after call co- ever since i went to college yeah i still went to church like a little bit and then served at a at a church so we don't have to drive down every week but um i kind of fell out of it then and then after college it was like eh. and then i went to new york and i didn't go to church at all pretty much at all that during that entire time um and then i moved back and then sometimes i would just go with my mom just because like, she would force me right or or just like go elsewhere with like other friends but um yeah especially since i moved to la i went a little bit before the pandemic to a, a few places um that's where i ran into your sister when i first moved to la yeah at the at the church that she was attending and um and yeah i mean especially with the, but during the pandemic i did like a very few online like zoom services and stuff but I'm, mine's been very kind of up and down and just kind of in this weird limbo, mm-hmm. right? I'm in like a weird place. Very lukewarm, I would say. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, um, a, that was a word that we used a lot. Like mm-hmm. when I was in church, the whole lukewarm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. God's going to spit us out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I find myself like praying and it's just like, I'm going through stuff. I'm like, hey, it's me. Hey, man, it's been a while. Hey. I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> oh, it's could been a while. Could you uh, somehow give me $5,000 for rent this month? Um, I'd hey, really appreciate um, it. I, I, I swear I'll go back to church. I swear I'll this Sunday I, I'm going back. <laughs> if I somehow get $5,000 in my bank, I swear, God. Jesus, I promise. I promise. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my, mom still sends, my mom still sends me like Bible verses like every other day, man. And she's like, oh, you, are you going to church? And I'm just like, ah. that's my answer every time. You know. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I am at the moment. <clears throat> Wait, mm-hmm. so let me ask you these questions. Right? Let me ask you a question. So, 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 so right now, let's just go with the heavy hitter. Let's do it. Would you, con- would you consider yourself a Christian? Um, no. Right now. No. No. I, I, I think I'm... Is it called agnostic? Agnostic, so you you acknowledge a, a God, a higher being, but you don't. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so I believe that there's a higher being. I just yeah. um, don't know who or what it is. You know. I see. I see. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just think like. So with my when I was, you know, going to church and stuff like. The way that my brain works, like, I have a hard time believing in something that I can't, like, tangibly see and touch. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, okay. and mm-hmm. um, I think towards the end of my Christian faith, like, I don't know. I just, I just had a lot of just too many, like, big doubts and things that just didn't really make sense to me. Like, um, you know, for example, like... You know, like, I th- I think from, from what I remember, I think, you know, Christians believe that the Bible, right, is like the word of God, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, at the end of the day, and this is my personal opinion, at the end of the day, each each book and chapter in that, in, in the Holy Bible, right, was written by a man or a woman, right right at at the end of the day right and so for right. me it's like just knowing how you know humans are um and like their nature like something along the way is going to get lost you know um 
And especially with all these centuries that have passed and with so many different versions of the Bible, right? There's like a King James, like King James 2, there's like an NIV, there's like an NRV, there's like a fucking, I don't even know. NRB. NR, NRB, you know, whatever. Like, I just, I just can't help but feel that like something along that, along the way with all these translations, with all these different versions, with the centuries that have passed, some things are going to get lost, in my opinion, you know? Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just, I just have a hard time trying to follow like a book, you know what I mean? Mm. And kind of center my life around that book, you know? Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. And like, you know, just like reading about all the, like the miracles and, you know, um, like how God like you know spoke to people and used people as you know his his kind of mouthpiece like I don't know like are there are there no like updates you know like there's no has there why 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 hasn't there been like you know like a burning bush or any documentation any of- documentation or you know whatever like um because because i'm sure he sees what what humanity has become you know it's like hey man Mm. you want to give us an update you know what i'm saying like hey set a bush on fire real quick you know what i'm saying like (laughs) spread open spread open the pacific ocean man you know what i'm saying give us some feel me um Mm. interesting yeah i don't know i just i just felt that um yeah it just it just didn't make sense to me in 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 the sense that like with so many spiritual practices and so many religious, you know, books that are out in the world, like that God and the Holy Bible is is the one the one that like we should be following. Fair. You know what I mean? Fair. Right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you consider yourself a Christian still? Or or not even a Christian? I don't even I don't even like that. Like do you like believe in God? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. The better question is, is like, if you don't want, if you don't want to use the word Christian, it's like, am I saved? If I die right now, from a Christian standpoint, am I going mm-hmm. to heaven or hell? Mm-hmm. Man, that's a scary. <laughs> Christian, Christians, Christians, uh, a lot of Christians struggle with that too. But um, am I saved? You know, I, I I used to really think that I was. I I felt like there was a distinct moment. When I was like 16, 17, where I really, yeah, found God. But, but, you know, looking at my life now and the way things I conduct my life is not following any of the blueprints or the, I mean, I don't want to mm-hmm. call it a rule book, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just like, yeah, the steps of, what a believer and a follower right. would take. Right, right, right. So that's like that's where I'm at. I feel it's such a question that I've been asking myself and wrestling with for years. And I'd like to think that I'm in just this weird place, right? This whole like if you guys don't know, there's a whole um the prodigal son story, right? The whole mm-hmm. the, the the parable. I kind of feel like, you know, just kind of like I'm just running away from a lot of things, to be honest. Um, I do credit God for a lot of things. For okay. instance, my talents, I think, like my humor and a lot of things, a lot of my skill sets I was born with. Mm-hmm. Sure, I, I, I curated and, f- and fostered it and practiced and trained it throughout the years, but I was given with a set of talents and i think that Mm -hmm. people can't deny whether you take it down the religious route or not everyone is born with innate traits characteristics and talents you can't refute that right it's just a matter of it's just a matter of okay do i credit god for it or not it's just like a universe thing right whatever um yeah so i credit god in terms of like my talents my god-given talents and I I like I would like to think that he does have some sort of like plan or purpose, right? 
And I do think that I, even, even where I am now, it's hard to take a hundred percent of that credit for myself. Right. I think that in order to have gotten to where I am and on top of that, to get to where I need to, I think I can't do it alone, but I've been trying to do it alone for so many years. And I think that's Mm -hmm. why I've just like unnecessarily been struggling a lot. Um, But also the problem is I've been tying in my relationship, faith with God, with my profession a lot, with my career a lot. Mm -hmm. I correlate so much of my faith with how well my career is going or it's it's a direct correlation. It's like, you know, I will keep believing in God as long as I become an A-list celebrity actor, you know, you know, very famous movie star, whatever. And I, I, I know that's like not the right way of thinking and stuff, but yeah. I don't know. It's, it's so, it's tricky. It's tricky. Because like I, 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 I do consider myself pretty self-aware and like just, I, I, tr- I always try to be honest with myself. If nobody else if I'm going to bullshit everyone else, but I try to be honest with myself and man, I mean, I ask myself, do I actually look different than a non-believer? And I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's just like, it's just like, I like pat myself on the back. Say, oh, just because I can regurgitate, you know, <laughs> theology. It's like, oh, like I'm Gucci, right? Yeah. In a lot of ways, uh, uh, people that grew up in the church are, are, are so jealous of like people that found God in their 20s and their 30s like just like i don't know i'm so jealous because it's like you're not you're not spoon fed that and it just it doesn't become like just like a muscle right mm-hmm. memory thing and so i don't know i still haven't answered your question am i <laughs> am i a christian you know i i think i think i am yeah i think so i think so but yeah i, I still very much believe in god that's for sure yeah i believe that god exists i do believe that the god that i believe is like the head honcho you know what i mean he's the guy but i don't know it's very interesting Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah hmm Fucking God, man. God damn it. <sighs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> you know what be crazy, though? Imagine being able to just have a glass of wine with Jesus or God. That'd be crazy. <clears throat> you know what, man? I don't That'd think people realize... I don't think people realize how much Jesus loved alcohol. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker turned water into wine. Think about that shit, man. If Je- if Jesus is real, he is. He might be an alcoholic. Low key. <laughs> Low key. He turns water into wine, bro. Are you kidding? Maybe he was. Maybe he just <laughs> had high tolerance or just like very good self control. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think Jesus? But, is a, do you think Jesus? Jesus has ever been drunk? Oh, for sure. You think so? Like tipsy? Yeah. For yeah, sure. like tipsy drunk. But I think, oh no, for, like for sure, like when him and his disciples like drink and break bread and stuff, mm-hmm. like, of course, definitely the disciples got drunk and stuff, right? That would have that would be a sight that I would <clears throat> want to see. That would be kind of crazy. That'd be crazy. He's like, hey, you want some more wine? Here, I got you. Boom, fucking wine right there. <laughs> you want some more bread, bitch? I got you. you want some what more if fish? when God, got what you. if when Jesus got tipsy, he's just like extra, like. He was like extra generous. He's like, yeah, man. Look, what you want, man? <laughs> you know, like, what you want, talk man? To me. Hey, talk to me, Peter. I got you. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. What you want? It's like Peter's like, yeah, you know, like I've always had you know, like skinny thighs growing up. I'm just, <laughs> I've always just wanted like little thicker thighs. No, no, no. You know what, man? When you wake up tomorrow, boom, boom done. Boom. When you wake, just hey, boom, just done. He will. He will never just give it to you right then. And then he's like, hey. <laughs> He won't even answer your question. He won't even answer your question. He'll 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 hit you with the Peter. You're so foolish. Why do you worry about such trivial things? You know what? Just go to sleep tonight. Just go to sleep. And tonight. Just you will forget about it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But then through that, he'll wake up with like thick thighs. He'll be like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, 
How do your legs feel today, man? How do your legs feel today? What's up with them legs, dog? <laughs> What's up with them legs, dog? Yo. Let me see them legs, boy. Let's go. Yo. Let's go. You got them thunder Peter's thighs gonna, now, boy. Peter, we'll come back. Let's go. Like, Jesus, uh, my, my, my pants aren't fitting. <laughs> I know. What do you, I, you know, yeah, I know. <laughs> why, why do you think? <laughs> He's like, oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, that's funny. I wonder if Jesus appreciates these jokes right now. I've always wondered. You know what I? You know what I do realize? God, God definitely has a sense of humor for sure. People that like question that, they're silly. Silly. Mm-hmm. Jesus must have had an impeccable. Can you imagine his comedic timing? Oh, his <laughs> delivery must have been good. I Astronomical. Think, I think if there was more of that in the Bible, I think I'd be hundred percent a believer for sure. <laughs> They were like more like jokes, you know, <laughs> like maybe there are like, I mean, I'm sure sh- look, well, no pastors like talk about like they can kind of like read the fine lines and kind of know when I don't know. But like, I, I yeah. think I think they, I've heard sermons here and there where they kind of talk about that kind of stuff. Oh, dude, speaking of uh, pastor. So you so you have been told and even considered the pastoral route. Yeah. So have I. You yeah. know, my biggest, one of my biggest fears was, is oh, like yeah. that God would call me to become a pastor that I had to drop acting. I, I, I was so scared, terrified. I was like, God, please don't ask me to be a pastor. I really want to be an actor. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> like, please. So let me ask you this. How, like, when, when you say like, oh my God, like if God asked me, like, what would that look like to you? I, th- I think it's just one of those things that's that's so hard to like when you hear from someone else you're like it just sounds like a little like hocus pocus right yeah but I, th- I think it's like it's just like it is one of those things and and to a, a point you mentioned earlier it's just so true uh you said something about you you need it needs to be tangible you need to be able to see feel it like for yourself and i think that is exactly what christianity is in, in the essence of it. it it's like aside from all the doctrine right it's 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 that it's a relationship it's like so you can only really speak for yourself it's like when you when you have that relationship with god and when you know it's like when you have that connection like you know and you can't really put it to words but you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. when you've had that connection when 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 god speaks to you in a way where it's not necessarily like yo what's up glenn like out of the yeah. clouds mm-hmm. but like you know like intuition <laughs> like glenn wake just up feeling through glenn. <laughs> glenn i know you're glenn i know you're high right now but you gotta go you gotta go to seminary come on Get up. What if he's Get nasty? Up. Like, while you're high, he's like, <laughs> oh, man, maybe I should do seminary. Damn. <laughs> no, but I think it's just one of those things that you, like, you kind of know, right? And so, look, I, I haven't, I don't think I've received that. And I think he speaks through other people. I think mm-hmm. he does that a lot. Like, speaks through close friends, close family. You know, just kind of gives you those signs. And it's also being able to tap into that. And you we probably receive a lot of these signs that we just are are, are unaware of because we um, lack the resources and the muscle and skill to interpret such things as a sign. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? So like the more well-versed you are, like I guess, you know, the Bible, whatever, then you can pick up on these things. Oh, like I think this might be a, this might be a sign or some sorts. Okay, so before I was really cut off by my camera, um, so yeah, this this lady prayed over me, basically prophesized that, you know, one day this this kid, this June kid is gonna like travel the world, right? <clears throat> and like so, just like very, very tall blessing. It's just like like God has a lot in store for him. I think he's gonna like you know travel the world, spreading the name. And so I never really knew what that meant at the time. But like, you know, it, I do find correlation in, in, in my my passion, my pursuit of, you know, just wanting to be in this industry. I will say that has always been a crush because I've always been spoiled with that. And I took it for granted. I'm like, oh, you know what? Since I already got that blessing, I already got that promise, guarantee. I don't need to do jack shit. And God's gonna uh, grant it, right? But I know that's not how it works. Like He can have this crazy thing in store for you, but if you're not gonna pull, if you're not gonna pull your weight, if you're not gonna do a damn thing about it, then He unfortunately has to 
give that to someone else right, right. And that's what my mom is always saying it's like hey man like <laughs> like don't take it for granted because because as much as god wants to give this to you if, if you're not gonna you know do anything about it then like it, it might not happen so that's like one thing that kind of s- s- hurt me um growing up because I, I just took it for granted i never really cared i was like oh you know what oh like it's, it's all gonna work out i don't need to do a thing i can i can you know do enjoy all the pleasures of this world without you know paying any attention to following this or this rule or or trying to be you know a good christian or whatever whatever that entails right and so that's that's just kind of been my struggle as well um but yeah and i realized like christian being a christian in la is so different from like georgia for example oh really right it yeah it just it really challenges so many things and and i don't want to say one is right one is wrong one is better than the other but it's just so interesting just because like you know la california is a lot more progressive is a lot more liberal and that that shows in 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 religion too and christianity too and just like i don't have an answer i don't know right Mm -hmm. but it is an interesting sight because it's just like these people will get like coked ass up (laughs) like the night before and just like wipe it Mm -hmm. off and then just go to church the next morning (laughs) like (laughs) praise the name of god put it on their instagram stories oh god i love you jesus they got a freaking coke bloody nose running (laughs) down their you know crisp church shirt I don't know, and they'll just like they'll just like freaking rearrange a girl's guts. And just be like, <laughs> oh God, I love you, Jesus. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It's very interesting. I mean, and so here's the thing, though. I do know that Christians get a bad rap, and I know even the stuff that you were saying. But the one thing is, is like you can't let humans um, uh, deface and you know, and then degrade the like God. Right. That's like a tough concept, but I've come to realize it's like humans we're flawed, right? We're we're born sinners. And you you can't put humans and God on the same level. And and, and the thing is like a lot of non-Christians like, well yeah, I mean, well Christians if these are the followers of God, it's like sure like they should be good examples. I very true. Very true, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's it's I don't know, man. It's like just because Christians can be shitty doesn't mean God can be. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like we as, not we, but like like we as in like the just general body of Christians, it is the responsibility to like just you know, make make God and Jesus look good. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like that is, that is part of the responsibility. But at the same time, even when we screw up, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't change anything about who God actually is, the identity and and. and you know, all that characteristics. So I try not to equate it to that just because I see like questionable, you know, quote unquote Christians out there. Yeah. I try not that to uh, correlate with God being shady, God being weird. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but at the same time, I ask myself, oh, just because I don't do that kind of stuff, does that make me any better though at the end of the day? Mm-hmm. Am I still in the same boat? Am I just, am I just like patting myself in the back just because I don't do that? But, at the end of the day, I'm no better. I'm in the same exact boat, but I'm just like on a quote unquote higher, higher moral high ground. And even in, in one way, I'm like, wait, I don't know. I'm even shittier because like, I'm just like, oh, I, I, at least I'm not like that person. You know what I mean? But what am I doing that's so different? Just because I'm not, you know, injecting stuff or, or smashing bitches. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that, that makes me, that makes me a better Christian or if that to begin with. It's a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of questioning, I've realized. But um, I've also realized the Asian American church, especially the Korean American church, in the South at least, I can only speak from a very specific per- lens. They really fucked up. They don't know how to do this thing because they hold your hand for seventeen years, and then the second you go to college, they literally Spartan kick you into the well and say, "Good luck. Oh, we love you so much. Good luck." Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I think I think the whole foundation. I think the the the, the church needs to do a restructuring of really gr- like fostering these kids because they will hold your hand. You at, we're supposed to ask questions. I'm I, I love 
discourse. You know mm-hmm. that. I love questions. And, and I've always been a deep thinker since I was a kid. I've always asked tough questions. And my mom would get scared sometimes. She's like, just because she doesn't know the answer, she's like, hey, don't ask those questions. I'm like, well, but why? Yeah. I agree that to a certain extent, if you if you dig yourself down a rabbit hole, it could get to a dark place, whatever. But I'm like, dude, these are valid questions, mm-hmm. right? Like valid, valid questions. And 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 the church is so hush hush about it and they hold your hand they spoon feed you everything you need to know like they don't let you they don't even let you try to walk on your own they we're crawling metaphorically we're crawling they will hold us up in a harness in a tricycle before we ever learn to walk and then the second we go to college they just completely throw us in the deep end when we never learned how to swim to on our own We've been given a life jacket our entire life. Mm-hmm. And and they, they they just dust their hand. They want no part of it. And then they're the ones that judge us. They're like, oh, look at, see, look at these kids like falling out of Jesus, like falling out of your know, religion. It's like, oh, like tisk, tisk, tisk. Like, dude, you're the one that fucked up. You're from a leadership standpoint. You don't give two shits about mm-hmm. us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I feel like the leaders of the church, they don't, they don't give two. It's, it's, it's like, man, they don't care. They don't. A, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? But I think, yeah, the statistics is crazy. 70% of Christian kids like fall out of church once they turn 17 or once they go to college. And I get it. I was kind of part of that statistic, and I, and I, and I, and I fully understand it. You know what I think? I, I, yeah, I think like, they should just get rid of the church. They should, get rid of, <laughs> they should get rid of all pastors. They should get rid of all churches. And parents, no. parents shouldn't bring kids to church. I think okay. if you're really about that life, okay. you'll 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 want to you know research it yourself. That's what I think. I think I think churches in general breed greed, breed um, you know. I mean, shit. I've I've fucking seen it firsthand. I think I think churches are structured very poorly, um, and I've seen pastors get really greedy, and not saying that there aren't good pastors. But the way, you know, the, the, the Christian church is run in this day and age, I think it's really fucked up. Like, fucking Joel Austin, dude. You know what I mean? That motherfucker's like a fucking millionaire, dude. You know? Who? J- Joel, Joel Austin. You know the guy oh, from, like, right, Houston? Right. Yeah, I mean, there, I mean, there are definitely a lot of uh, prosperity gospel yeah, features. Yeah, I like think, that. I don't know. I just think there's just so many... You know, you people know that just like <laughs> twist and turn and like people yeah, just believe yeah, yeah. them, you know, without thinking for themselves or researching it themselves. That and I true. think that's where that a lot of it gets all fucked up, you know. I will agree to a certain extent, but I do think that's what I would actually argue that that's exactly why good and just good leaders are that much more important. Right. Right. Like in a leadership standpoint, I think that's why it's so important. You know the Instagram page, uh, Pastors and Sneakers. I think that's what it's called. No, I don't know that. It's a it's a beautiful page. It's a beautiful page. This guy runs an Instagram page. I think that's what it's called, Sneakers and Pastors. Pa- oh, whatever. He he <laughs> he posts pictures of like those big celebrity pastors, and he breaks down their outfits, uh-huh. and it's crazy. Like how like <laughs> how much money is on each pastor and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the like the outfits, how much their outfit costs. Yeah. They're like, you know, there's a Gucci Gucci shirt, like T-shirt for like eight hundred dollars. Yeah. The belt, the pants, fear of God shoes. Um, it's just like I don't, I don't know if I have an opinion, <laughs> but it's it's so interesting. And like, how how can you take when a pastor is like preaching about don't be greedy or like it's not about yeah. money, don't care about materialistic yeah. things. How can you take him seriously That's when what I'm saying, his dude. outfit is three grand? That's what I'm saying, man. When his when when he's on. <laughs> When he like he like walks Google out with like a fucking Gucci Bible, like dude, come on, like what are you doing? What why what is this what is this you know blasphemy, what? dude? What are you, you doing? Know the Kore- you know the Korean Bibles are like the like the zipper? yeah, it's like a fucking there's like a fucking so, like 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 a, like a Gucci snake has a fucking zipper and there's like a big Gucci on the fucking Bible. It's like, it's like, it's like studded with the, the <laughs> it's like fucking diamond Supreme studs and shit. Supreme. Fucking dude, fuck out of here, man. You're you're just they, you know what? Honestly though, they shit they're fucking smart businessmen. You know what I mean? They just built a church. They named the hill song and they fucking just went just went fucking global dude all right i get it i um, get it i do like hill song though i don't i do like i think hill song songs. you don't like hill song 
I think there there was there was actually a couple things for the downfall of my faith. And okay, I think okay. it was those big, super big like corporate churches. Um mm-hmm. I just I just found it very off putting at a certain point. It was just like Okay. It just felt very disingenuine, you know? And like mm-hmm. um it felt very like performative. You know, like okay. like the like the praise like the praise bands are like putting out albums, you know, and like, you know, things Is like that. Is that a bad thing though? I think so. What? Okay, okay, okay. Keep going, keep um, going. Because, uh-huh. uh-huh. like I said, I feel like even if they had good intentions in the beginning, I just feel like at the end of the day, it's still it's still a money grab, you know. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. and obviously I I know that I know that you feel differently, but this is coming from someone who's agnostic, you know, who's who's been at the church mm-hmm. and who doesn't really mm-hmm. believe anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, right. And and maybe maybe I am a little cynical, you know. Obviously, actually, probably a lot more cynical than I like to believe. But um, it was like those big corporate uh, churches, and um. There was this one like mission trip that I went on. Um, okay. And we went to the south side of Chicago. We went to the south side of Chicago, oh. and we stayed there for like a week and a half or something. And you know, at, at, you know, when I when I first went, I was like, okay, this is this is you know this is this is the Lord's work. You know, this is um you know like I'm here to spread the gospel and do some good work, but. I came away with that feeling like such a fraud, you know, because it was like, so we went there and we went to the court on, and I mean, we went to the hood, basically. And there was this, there was this one thing that we did this one day. We we handed out sandwiches to the homeless. Right. And we would like talk to them and pray for them or whatever. And. <laughs> Um, I remember there was this moment where, um, so like the sandwiches that we made were like really bland. It was like just bread, like mm. two pieces of ham, ham and like cheese and cheese. And we would just hand it out yeah. like, Hey, you hungry? Hey, yeah. have, have a bite, have yeah. a bite, whatever. And I ran out of sandwiches, yeah. but then this other homeless guy, after I passed my sandwich off to the last guy, like my last sandwich off to the last guy, this other homeless guy was like, yo, what about me? I was like, oh fuck, right? So I was like, okay, hey, let me let me take you to the store and get you a hot sandwich. And then the guy that I gave the sandwich to, my last sandwich to, he was like, yo, what the fuck? He's like, yo, what about me? I was like, oh my god, fuck. I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. Right? Um and it was like it was just like in that moment, I was just like, what the fuck are we doing here? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are we really doing here? Like, what why why are why are mission trips a thing? Because I knew for a fact in that moment I would never talk to this guy again, and it I just felt like so much of Christianity was fueled by ego. Yeah, it was it was it was fueled by ego yeah. and the need to look a certain way and the need to feel like you're a soldier of God, when in reality, like for me at least, in like in in reality, it was just like I'm about to go back mm-hmm. to my comfortable ass house, mm-hmm. right? And maybe in like what, like one to two weeks, I'll probably forget about the whole experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, man, what, what, the, what the fuck am I doing here, man? Like, who, like, who, do, who, do, who the fuck do I think I am, right? No, I made a, I made a skit to be that. to be handing out sandwiches <laughs> and feel like. I'm fucking saving this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like who who the who the fuck do we think we are? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a little heated I mean, right now. Mich- I'm getting a little heated right no, now. No, no, but no. it's I, like I completely understand because like especially non Christians like really hate on Christians for mission trips. Cause like mission trips is it, 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 like it really I think mission like, trips is all bullshit, dude. It's fuck like all it's that. It's just dude. stroking stroking your own ego. It is. And like, listen, all, like, all, really- the the only type of mission trips that I have respect for are actual missionaries. Who are about that life? Who that's a that's a tough who, ass life. Who who Shout out who to uproot their lives because they believe in something so much that they're willing to go to a third world country or whatever the fuck 
and you know build a church like slowly and like it's it, it's like it's like it's like a lifelong mission for them you know but i think yeah. the two week mission trips with like the youth group and the fucking college ministry like fuck all that dude Get the fuck out of here yeah short term missionary yeah, it's just short term mission trips it's like uh, people, a lot of people see that as problematic. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Man. I get it. I, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm getting a little heated. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm I think, sorry. I know. I think you struck a chord with a lot of the people. Listening. Yeah, probably. No, for sure, for sure. So it's just like, I'm not saying like there's a divide between the audience, but I think there's a lot of people that really resonate mm-hmm. with you, right? Um. Yeah, it's like. It's always interesting, especially me being in this position. And sometimes I make a lot of church skits, like. But a lot of my skits is satire. A lot of my skits is like just being real, poking fun, yeah, and just being just being like being honest. It's like, hey man, like let's just let's just point it out how it really is. Mm-hmm. Right? A lot of the skits mm-hmm. that I do relating to the church and the skits. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always interesting, like when either pastors or believers like. try to relate with me or or talk to me or like evangelize to me or this or that you know what i'm saying it feels weird like whenever whenever a pastor i've I've been asked multiple times like pastors like yo june i would love for you to come to talk to our kids at the youth group i'm like are you sure are you sure (laughs) i literally was i feel weird i feel (laughs) really weird it's like i was i was so drunk just like last night do you, you do you smell the alcohol in my breath right it's like, now? are you sure <laughs> i'm usually i'm usually high eating wings on sunday on live so i don't i don't know tuesday, 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 tuesday. Tuesday. i don't know tuesday, i don't know tuesday, if tuesday, that's tuesday. a good um <laughs> oh my gosh it's so interesting so interesting um, man it's just yo dude dating dating within like the christian community is so toxic it's fucked up, it's dude. especially it's fucked up dating within the church community it's so Dude, funny i've, I've seen so some vile toxic. shit bro i've seen i've seen some, some vile, vile shit and i've heard some vile i, I heard be, like there was dude, one pastor uh, that like fucking um like dated uh, dated like an underage girl oof, yeah and oof, then like he like admitted to it like years later at, at a retreat oof. or something and he got fucked up you know what i'm saying yeah i mean yeah i mean Yo, dude, there's this there's this one church leader. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cite her name, but it's a woman. My cousin, one of my cousins, she she went stopped going to church because of that woman, because of that woman, and she ended up at another church I used to go. To, I I went to back in my home church. She ended up there, and then she talked shit about my brother in front of my face. And I'm not even. I'm, I, I I kid you not. This is what she said during a sermon once. I'm. I can't make this up. She said she visited a third world, uh, uh, not a third world country, like uh, some sort of country. Maybe. I don't know some Middle Eastern country, right? Where they wear the garb is like head to toe covered, where only like the eyes are mm-hmm. showing, right? Head to toe. So like, you got off the plane. It's super hot, super humid, and like she was talking about the weather, right? And she shared. She was like, "Man, like I would go around." praying for these women that's that part's fine it's like i would like go around like brushing my finger on their car but like praying for them touch like you know that part's fine whatever but the part that oh my god i can't make this up she and then, and then after that she was like you know i just I, I don't understand like what are they doing this all for like they're they're wearing they're covered head to toe they're extremely hot they must be so sweaty man what a, like I feel I felt so bad because they're gonna go to hell anyway. I'm like, dude, Jesus what Christ. the fuck? Like, See how the fuck like do these pastors like, still have fucking <laughs> jobs, dude? Like, is there no like fucking like like vetting process to this shit, dude? Like, y'all just fucking hire anybody. Dude. These churches fucking I hire e- anybody, bro. They just fucking follow their lead. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? I can't make it up. I cannot make that up. When I tell you that everyone was like speechless. And, and so, like, there was another pastor there, like, a, a guy that I really, really like. Like, he was one of my mentors for a little bit. And then, so she was still, like, not the main youth group pastor, youth pastor. And, and then when he said, <laughs> I remember looking at him, and he was just like, oh, boy. Like, dude, this, okay, so this is, like, our our, our group is 6th grade to 12th grade. Dude, a 6th grade. How old is a 6th grade? 11, 11? Like 11, 12 or something like, like that. 10. Yeah, like, dude, there's, like, <laughs> you're saying that to an 11 like 10 year old <laughs> like and i remember like and so 
back when my cousin used to go to church, she would pull aside guys and be like, "Hey, don't hang out with her. She's she's a problem. She's like a problem child." Mm-hmm. She would she would black sheep her in like in in the in, t- in the group. Like she wouldn't even go to talk to her and just like try to like, you know, be a good role model. But she would pull aside guys and girls, be like, "Hey, don't don't hang out with this girl." Mm-hmm. And that that's traumatizing. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's fucked up, dude. There's 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 the definitely church like this leader. whole like there's like definitely like no, a fuck like her. A, like oh no, oh my god, like dude, no 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 like oh I can't even I can't go into detail the stuff that she said about my brother, like in front of my face. Uh-huh. It with a with a very chill voice, but it was like super passive aggressive, super underlying. You like you you know, you know like I like I've talked to you before, mm-hmm. right? Like and so she would say stuff about my brother and just just and I was like what the fuck did this bitch just say? Mm-hmm. Like, I should have made a scene. I should have. I never she did. Fucking... I, I'm more mad. At, I'm more mad at myself. I'm more mad at myself. But fuck her. Like, she is such a piece of garbage. Honestly. Honestly. Like, she is... Oh, my gosh. Her only her only credit is that she's bilingual. She's, like, pretty bilingual and stuff like that. But, man, she... she like... Well, let me just say, she didn't last long in our, in our other... Like, the, the church... But, man, like, she, oh, I don't want to, yeah, anyways, anyways. I will say, though, I think being a Christian in today's age, 2021, like, especially with everything going on, it's extremely difficult, like, for, so I will say, just shout out to all the Christians. Like, you know, if you really do consider yourself a Christian, like to be able to stand your ground, it's ex- it's so tough. You're, like, we're the most hated. Like, Christians are the most hated on religious group in the entire world, especially I mean, well, at least in the U.S. Mm-hmm. If you're a Christian, you're a piece of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, Christians be doing some dumb shit, man. Like, especially the white ones, dude. The white ones be doing. They they do. They they be fucking up, man. You're done drinking for tonight. Yeah, I gotta I gotta work after. I gotta get a video out. Work as an Valorant. <laughs> they fuck that game, dude. But I keep playing it. It's it is so crazy. fun. Damn. Yeah. Oh. I'm like I'm like really into that game right now, as you can tell. It's so as hard. you probably noticed. <laughs> it's just so good, dude. I just like turn a corner and I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? It's just so instant. It's just so fast. <laughs> Just no so fast. To no time to react, seriously. But it's fun though. Yeah, what's your favorite Christian song? Uh, honestly, I don't remember any of the names. Let's, oh, except dude, for Set of Fire. The throwback. The throwbacks. We there was some there's some golden age of like worship songs. Yeah. Like, Shout to the Lord. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a classic. That was a classic. Um L- Lead Me to Yeah, the I don't I don't called. remember any of the song names, fuck. There was one by Hillsong that I really liked. Hosanna. I was like, always oh, start crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, there's this like new, rap, somewhat new one. It's called "Even When It Hurts" by Hillsong. That, uh-huh. that song gets me sometimes. It's like, yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Who knows? Who, who who really knows at this point? But do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Do I believe in a heaven and a hell? Yeah. Mm. No, I don't. I don't like that idea either. I don't like the idea of a like heaven it. and a hell. Like, I just I feel like hell is used so much as like a fear tactic. You, you know. So? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, mm. I you see. know, I mean, I mean, that's like their whole basis, right? Like when they're trying to, you know, um, evangelize and stuff. Like, um, you know, like come and be saved by God, so mm-hmm. you don't go to hell, basically. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at yeah. all. I see. I see. But like I said, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. You know, who's the higher being? You know, so. Um, if I don't really believe in God, I I don't feel like I should believe in heaven and hell. You know. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm. But again, everybody, everybody listening, this is just my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Of course it is. Um, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but. Why would you? I don't know. Just the way I talk. I people, yeah, no, but I, mean, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the people that find it. What I'm mean, dude, what I've realized is like, dude, I've been learning to not take things personally. Uh huh. Because it's just a projection. Like, someone's just projecting onto you. So if someone listening to this just gets offended, mm-hmm. it's like they're not realizing that this is coming from your your personal experience. Right? You know what I mean? It's like, how mm-hmm. can you take that personally? It's mm-hmm. like, clearly, you have your own opinions and you yeah. have your own experiences. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so this is just coming from Glenn's perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my perspective, and if someone guys, gets, like, that right? super defensive and, like, uh, you know, like, defensive about it, then it's just like then they might be shaky on their own beliefs. If you're mm-hmm. so secure in what you know and believe, you can't, like, you, why would you take offense to what whatever you're saying? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. At the end of the day, it's just like, oh, like, well, I just I just disagree, or I don't think he sees it the way I do, or, like, I think he's just, like, missing. Like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. That's it. All right. But I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, I will say this. If there is a heaven and a hell, I'm definitely mm-hmm. going to hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One joke we always tell each other, like, man, we are one bad joke. I'm going to die, and the devil's going to be like, good work, soldier. Now go to your room and get whipped and oh get God. burned oh endlessly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good luck. Good, good work, soldier. Great job. Oh my Great God. job, buddy. Come on in. Great job, buddy. Oh, my God. You know, as, a, as a token of your hard work and appreciation, I just want to let you know, man, I want to whip you extra hard. <laughs> as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to turn up the heat slightly more. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, in a way, in a way, you've nailed, you've nailed the interpretation of, of the devil it's like that's how fucked mm-hmm. up he is mm-hmm. that's how fu- like you, you know, hey at the very least christians will applaud you for that <laughs> right if, if nothing else if nothing you know else what? They agree i might on, i might be like, so good that. i might be so good that i might just become a demon and not just a prisoner <laughs> you know what i'm saying i might i might go back out into the world and <laughs> you might get promoted to being a demon jesus christ oh you need uh, jesus oh my god <sighs> Dude, I bet, I bet a lot of people are mad and comfortable right now with these jokes. <laughs> They're like, yo, Glenn, stop, please. Start like praying for me and shit. <laughs> yo, yo, how many people are in the car right now lifting up a prayer for Glenn? <laughs> imagine, imagine they listen to this on Sunday, like going to church. Like, oh my, oh my God, like, please, please. Dude, there, there has to be people lifting up a prayer for you tonight. Shout out to those people, man. They're like, wow, Glenn mm. needs Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap, dude! Did yeah. you do you remember the Sunday Secret? I, I posted a Sunday Secret, and it was from a wife's perspective. It's like, their whole her whole her whole lead in was crazy. It was it was beautifully worded. She was like, "Yeah, I gave my, I gave my hus- I gave my husband a blowjob, like fifteen minutes before, before he had to go on stage, and then he gave a sermon." I was like, "What the fuck?" That's lit. <laughs> That's that lit. was crazy. That was That's crazy. Lit. I've never heard That's that lit as fuck. It's lit as fuck. The pastor's wife gave gave the husband doing the Lord's work right shit. there, baby. Let's get wow. it. Wow. Let's get it. And he now, he probably gave the best sermon of his life, honestly. And then <laughs> right before, <laughs> right, he probably had so much clarity. Yeah. Post not clarity. I wouldn't be surprised if he got scouted by Hillsong, honestly. Like oh after that, after that sermon, like wow, how did like how did what ha- how did you do that? How did you get so much? How much? How much? How did you get so much holy power? Like what the hell? What kind? How did oh, you? How did you preach like, that sermon? This is so blasphemic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! No, I'm just right playing. before I'm just pastor, pastor, I'm just pastor playing. was like, pastor was like, yeah, I fell asleep during the worship. I was like, oh, are you the same pastor? <laughs> I mean, if it, I, I get it, man. I get it. You, 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 you know, it and then you're tired, so you just. I wonder where they did the it, because I know pastors go to church early. You know what I'm saying? They so have their like, own office. They have their exactly. own office. It's like 15 minutes before. Yo, that's that's kind of close if you're at home. 
I can guarantee you it was probably I, in the church. I, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Okay, service starts at 11. It's 1040 right now. So do you think you can... Um, that was... She's like, she's like, yo, mm-hmm. say no more. I got this. Challenge accepted. Put down a pillow on the ground and shit. You know what I'm saying? While the, while, while the praise team is practicing oh my gosh oh my gosh, um, oh my gosh. like you hear the songs. echoes of the praise band you hear that that's that's dead ass how it probably happened do you know you know you know like the you know like the piano guy that always plays before like this like this like this like the service starts <laughs> it was like probably synth, during synth, that yeah yeah like, like the synth. Mm, it was probably during that moment like mm, she's like sucking that shit dude, mm. stop. <laughs> <laughs> no i guarantee that was the most, that was how and sweat, when he it happened. Sweating. He comes up sweating. He's like, Does anyone have some water? Oh, I am I am parched. I am oh, parched. Fuck. Jesus. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's tight. for someone to like just just admit that, just say that, does. I. Yeah. I'm like, wow. I mean, kudos to you. I guess. Do it again. It's crazy that do it every it's week. Crazy that people. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy the thing people just like admit and just like just say and just entrust this information with me. I sure. see their I I see their usernames. Uh, yeah. I see their handles. Like everyone else is anonymous, but they 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 trust me. They're like, here. I'm mm-hmm. like, whoa. <laughs> here. It's a yeah. lot. It's a lot for me sometimes. It, yeah, it's that like, is hilarious. I'm sure that happens a lot. Training. I'm sure stuff like that happens a lot. Yeah, but if you're married, you know, if you're a married couple, like you know, a little yeah. Little, a little sloppy joes but i don't know like doing it in the church you know what i'm saying like wow inside like, you know inside the church like, inside the that's, church that's, like, that's a temple of god that's a temple of god. that's something else oof, that is something else that is crazy Man, but i love it that that's 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 my type of vibe right there he has to he has to like clean the ipad after that <laughs> <laughs> gonna mop the floors and shit like <laughs> She's, she, like she's gotta like brush her teeth real quick. Like, <laughs> what if he has, what if he's like what if he has to like change a suit and stuff? And like, <laughs> Jeez, oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, like all the people that she's saying hello to, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh okay, that's 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 the line right there. That's the line. I need to finish this. Am I gonna finish this? I don't know. Whatever. Well, oh, is there anything more? Is there anything more we we can talk about at the moment? I don't know. Maybe maybe if people like this one, we could do a part two or some shit. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giving head right before service. You know what you should do? You should do like a Christian Sunday Secrets. Oh. Like a church Sunday Secrets. Oh, yeah. Like a... <gasps> wow, that'd be a cool segment. On Sunday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On Sunday. I mean, obviously, because it's Sunday secrets, but no, this yeah, this one girl said it's like something about like I hooked up with the pastor's son or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I'm yeah, very interesting stuff. Yeah, oof. I mean, I've heard some stories growing up, but damn, crazy. Yeah. Well then, well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This wasn't meant to be like informative in any way this was just yes. like a very just real talk you know what i mean mm-hmm. i think people will appreciate that just because like you you pro- honestly honestly you probably spoke for so many people out there that mm-hmm. are feeling very similarly you know yeah I mean? and i'm sure i i'm sp- speaking to my own crowd where they're kind of in just like this weird place yeah you know? yeah so i think i think both sides are have value and perspective but yeah man i hope y'all are enjoying this um let's get glenn out here yes and then we'll go to church together let's get glenn out here and then we'll live stream a church service together we'll get on our knees and i gotta repent for so many years of my life oh my god (laughs) yo glenn's Glenn's gonna be at the church for maybe three days i'm gonna be there i'm gonna gonna have to fast for like 55 days like (laughs) Just go to the desert. Just walk around for fifty-five days. Cause oh just, my god, yo, my yo, let's just go to, the, oh, my, my let's, go to Tree. let's go to Joshua let's Tree. Let's go to Joshua Tree. Let's go to Joshua Tree. Just, just walk around for fifty-five days, dead ass. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break Jesus's record. Like I don't care. I'm gonna, I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta get my life back on track. <laughs> 
we're gonna shave our heads. If God is real, I'll 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 come out alive after those fifty five days. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Uh, imagine oh you gosh. come check on me after fifty five days. <laughs> I would have, dude. You would not be the same person for sure. Uh, I'd be like I'd be like halfway into the dirt, like just like decomposing, but still alive somehow. It's like June. I'm going to heaven I would, now. June, June. I would, I'm going to heaven. I'm I would saved. throw like I would throw like a dirty joke to you. He's like, June, you need to grow up. I'm like, whoa, June, you 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 need to go on this fast right now. You need to start. You need to go go walk over there. Go, go right now. Go, go in that direction. Don't come back for 55 days. All right. You got a watch on you because you gonna need one. All right. Because you gotta know how many days have passed. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my god that's good that's good oh alright y'all well till next time <laughs> thanks for listening thanks for listening to my blasphemy for an hour and a half I appreciate y'all I, I need to repent Jesus <laughs> this episode is crazy uh, alright y'all thank you thank you for tuning in we'll catch you guys We'll catch you guys next week. Okay. Yes. Bye. Peace, peace. <laughs>